So here, one of the method to analyze these problems is method of joints. You slightly understood uh, how to analyze uh, using method of joints. Whereas now we are going to understand method of sections. So what is the difference between a method of joint and what is the ease of this method of section? All of you please keep suggesting analysis of a pin jointed perfect frame. Analysis of a pin jointed perfect frame. Using method of sections. Using method of sections. Just listen first. No need to write, just listen. So this is something like a truss. This truss is being loaded with a certain number of loads. And this is being supported, simple support with the hinged and roller supports. Now, if I give the designation of this A, B, C, D, E, F, at the nodes B, C, F, there are some pointers are being acted. Now I would like to know, I don't want to uh, know all the forces in the members. I would like to know what is the force in F, C, B, C, just understand this. I, I want to know what is the force in each member FC, BC, EF. Only few forces are to be calculated. As per method of joints, what you understand, we have to first of all calculate the reactions. Yes, definitely the reactions are to be calculated. After calculating the reactions, uh, we understand uh, at each joint, wherever the unknown forces are equal to 2 or less than 2, you have to draw the free body diagram. And the forces are to be considered tension initially. So tension will be considered as positive, compression will be considered as negative. Then resolve the forces for the inclined members along x and y direction. After that, all the forces are to be calculated. If it is positive, that is considered as tension force. If it is negative, that is considered as compression force. Now, in this, you have to first of all go with joint by joint, and ultimately, in the result, you will get the forces in the members. What I will do is instead of going for each and every joint, we will cut a section where these three members are meeting. We will cut a section where these three members are meeting. So how to cut a section? You have to cut a section in such a way that the entire frame should be separated into two parts. So see, I am cutting a section like this. When I cut a section like this, then what's happening? So the forces FC, this is the force in FC. Sorry for the disturbance. Now, see what I am doing is in the method of section, 
I I don't want to know all these forces in the members. If I I want to know only few forces, for example, F C B C E F, these are the members where I would like to know what is the force in the member, what is the nature of the force as well as what is the magnitude. Understand? Magnitude means value, something like fifty kilonewton, forty kilonewton, forty-five kilonewton. Nature of the force means whether it is tension or compression, whether it is tension or compression. So we have to cut a section in such a way that the forces are to be like. Uh, They have wherever the forces are required. I require a force in FC. So your section should cut the member BC. You should it should be cut and EF. So you have you have considered a section like this. Another question comes. For example, instead of FC BC EF, uh, something like uh, I want to know what are the forces. in this so here this is uh, bf is the force that is to be calculated fc is another force that is to be calculated bc is the one force that is to be calculated so how to consider a section remember when you consider a section for example see your members we will understand what are the members that are to be calculated bf is one member bc is one member fc is one member three members are there so to meet these three members how could you check you how could you cut a section how could you cut a section can i cut a section like this just understand here can we cut a section like this no we can't cut a section like this so here three members are to be like your three members are there you consider a section initially this is one section and this is your second section so when we are cutting a section entire portion the frames are to be separated into two parts and after cutting the section what we have to do we have to draw the free body diagram you take either left side or right side so in the first step we are cutting the section in the second step we are to consider the free body diagram either left side or right side and using your equations of equilibrium you start analyzing the problem how many equations of equilibrium do we have can any one of you say and we have to say summation of the horizontal forces is equal to zero summation of the vertical forces is equal to zero summation of the moment about a point is equal to zero so now considering these three equations of equilibrium you have sigma fx is equal to zero Sigma F Y is equal to zero. Sigma M about a point is equal to zero. Three equations of equilibrium are available. And remember, wherever you cut a section, your unknowns should be unknown unknown forces at the section should be. Less than or equal to three. Why? Because you have three equations, so you can analyze only, like you can calculate the unknown forces three only. So in the previous class, I asked you people to do this, but the frame which is given to you using method of joints. Now we will go. Uh, using the rough sections uh, how to calculate the force in the members compared to method of joints method of sections is uh, taking less time to solve the problem 
there is a method of sections sir uh, uh, what you will do is you will simply cut a section where the forces of the units are required wherever the uh, like we are cutting a section in such a way that the entire truss is divided into two parts entire truss is divided into two parts and in the next step uh, we will take the free body diagram either left side or right side free body diagram is drawn the forces which are being cut they will be considered as unknown forces or the forces uh, which are to be determined and the internal forces will not come the internal forces of the members will not come only the forces that are being cut by the section they will only come and here using your equations of equilibrium using equations of equilibrium we will calculate uh, what is the force in the member if we are going to analyze it means that uh, we are calculating the magnitude as well as nature of the force so today in this class uh, we are observing how to solve a problem regarding this spin jointed perfect frames using method of sections please note down the problem determine the forces in members bc ve ef using method of sections using method of sections here what i am going to do first of all mark what are the members that are to be analyzed here bc is this member this is to be analyzed and be that is you should know what is the force in be similarly ef this is the force so in the question it is asked to calculate the forces in these members so to calculate the force in these members consider a section cutting these members and it has to cut in such a way that the unknown forces should be less than or equal to 3 so here i am cutting this section here like this so before cutting a section we will first of all calculate the reactions for these forces so initially what we will do is we will calculate what is the reaction so this is r a y this is r a x as this one is r t so in the first step what we are going to do we are calculating the support reactions sigma f x is equal to 0 summation of the horizontal forces r a x is the only force there is no other horizontal force Hence, R A X will become zero. Where sigma F Y will become zero. That is, here this is your anti-clockwise direction force is there. Sorry, uh, sigma F Y is zero. Vertical forces R A Y plus R T minus ten is equal to zero. Sigma m above a is equal to zero. Means you are taking matter body a minus R D into nine plus ten into six is equal to zero. Ten into six is equal to zero. Now, can any one of you tell me what is the value of this R D? Six point six seven kilonewtons. Substitute this value in this equation. You will get the value of R A Y, which is three point three three. So these are the forces R B as well as R A Y.
Now, this is step number one, calibrating the reactions. Calibration of support reactions. In step two, Consider a section X, X, the frame the parts and Cutting members EC, e, e. So we have taken a section XX in such a way that it is meeting the members, three members, and it is cutting the entire frame into two parts. For example, in the question, instead of asking all these three members, it is mentioned that. BC and BE is to be calibrated. So don't take a section like this only meeting these two points. And BE is taken. But when you cut a section like this, what about this member? You have not separated the frame into two parts. So make it as a separation, separated one into two parts. We need to consider, we need to consider the section in such a way that it is separating the entire frame into two parts. Now, so we have cut a section and here take free body diagram. So which side you can we have to take the free body diagram? Either I can take left side or I can take right side free body diagram. Take left side body diagram. Take left side free body diagram. That means just close this part. So just we have to take the left side free body diagram of frame. Draw the left side free body diagram here. When you draw the left side free body diagram, it plus is there like this. Here, this is like this. When I am drawing the free body diagram, here I should represent them with the forces only. Rax is already zero. Ray is 3.3 kilonewtons. This distance is 3 meters. Here, a force is there. This is being cut, which is force in BC. Another member is there. This is also got. I section so this is force in another fourth is there so this is force in EF so this is B this one is A this one is E so after cutting the section we consider the free body diagram and this distance is four This distance is four meters. Now you can tell me what is the angle made by this here. The member B is making an angle of the opposite side is four meters, adjacent side is three meters. So you can measure theta is nothing but tan inverse of four by three. What's the value tan inverse of four by three? Fifty three point one three. Fifty three point one three. Good. So the angle this is 53.3. This here also this is 53.13. Now just understand here what is the other part of this one. So in the other part, I'm just drawing, you need not draw this one, but I'm drawing the dotted lines. This is your force MF. B 
Here, this is E. Point load of 10 kilonewtons is acting. This point is C. This is 6.67 kilonewtons. This distance is 3 meters. This is 4 meters. So, this right side free body diagram also we can take. But however, we do left side free body diagram. That's it. Now, how many members are there that are to be calculated here? The unknown forces are B, C, B, E, F. So, three unknown forces are there. Using your equations of equilibrium, we can calculate what is the force. So, to calculate the force in each member, so what I will do in the first step. Just to resolve this F, B, E force, along horizontal direction, along vertical direction. So what is the horizontal one? F, B, E, Vertically, F, B, E, sine. First one, sigma, F, X is equal to zero, plus F, E, F, plus F B E cos 53.13 plus F B C is equal to 0. Here you, you, you may get one doubt. Why we consider all the forces as tension? Initially we should assume what nature of the force whether it is tension or compression. Here I assume that the force is in tension. If the value is negative then it indicates that you have to change the direction that is compression. Okay. So here summation of the forces along x axis F E F F B E cos F B C. Now taking along y direction, sigma F Y is equal to zero. Vertical forces. What are the vertical forces? 33.33. Yes, F B E sine fifty three point one three. There is no other force which is going in the vertical direction, so F B E is nothing but minus three point three three by sine fifty three point one three. Yes, Rashekar, anything from the side? You raise your hand. If nothing is there, I will continue. Sir? Yeah, anything you raise your hand, that's why I'm asking. Left side triangle A, B, if sir, E, Gadu. Okay, that is F only. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, th the thing is, this is B, this is F. Only just the letter is to be modified. However, the forces are the same. This is F. So this is F, but uh, remaining all the things are the same. And this will become given E. So F B E is minus 4.16 kilonewtons. Taking moment about A. Uh, about B is equal to zero. Moment about B is equal to zero. Now to consider clockwise moments are positive. You may think that uh, why can't we take about A? Yeah, you can take about A also, but uh, F B B E is the distance corporate distance is to be calculated. Instead of that, go with taking moment about B is equal to zero. So this is at three point three three. Which is clockwise plus F E F four plus F E F is equal to ten by four. Three point three three into E is ten, and this is minus ten by four is minus two point five. So this is minus two point three, which is to be the as completion. 
F E F the force and E F is minus 2.5 newtons. Now substitute these two values in the first equation to get F B C value. To get F B C value, substitute these values. Now F E F minus 2.5 plus of minus 4.16 into cos 53.13. Plus FBC is equal to zero. So before that, first of all, we will calculate what is the reaction supports A as well as supports F. As there is no horizontal force, you can neglect here the horizontal reaction, only vertical. There, this is RA. Here, this is RA. We have let RF. It's not a volume. I'm not considering the text as the whole thing. Is my voice part not audible? Audible, sir. Masirisha, once please check it. Here, RF value is 21 kilonewtons. Substitute here in the above equation, then RA will also be 21 kilonewtons. In the other way, you can understand here the entire truss is symmetrical, so half of the portion of the load will be carried by the left support, half of the portion of the load will be carried by the right support. So, total load. 
each support. The load to be carried by each support is 21 kilometers. Is it fine? Did you get the answer? A uh, fine, sir. Fine. Right. Now, moving to the next one, we need to cut a section in such a way that wherever, like, uh, wherever the member forces are required, we have to consider a section. So now see this one. E, this one. E, I, this one. H, N is this one. So we need to cut a section in such a way that these member forces are intersected. Like, uh, the section is intersecting these member forces. Draw the free body diagram. Either you can take one. Like this. Like this. So consider a section makes sense. Right now. Consider. Section X X as shown. Take right side free body and so then cut a section and put the left side to the It also his force in this is I. This is fourth in so here the understanding is basically about drawing the nature of the forces. Initially we can zero them. They are in tension. That's my right. Because they are assumed in tension. If the value is obtained as positive, we will keep it as tension force. If it is not positive, if it is negative one, then change the sign. Consider the equilibrium equation, sigma f x. So this is going in the left side direction. Yes. Minus F D G minus F D G. Now this F D I can be resolved along X and Y direction. F D I sine sixty. F D I cos. But taking the vertical plus F I minus three minus plus R F R F is acting vertically in that direction and the value. To zero is the only other force that is to be retained. So F Thirteen point eight. 
I is nothing but two members are becoming zeros. The forces in the two members are becoming zeros. At the moment you do these forces are becoming zero. Hence only FDG is to be calculated. However, what is this particular distance? As you are taking moment about this point, you should know what is the perpendicular distance. See, this is three meters. This is six meters. Can you tell me what is this particular distance? So this is made minus three square under root. So thirty six minus nine root twenty six. Five point two meters. So sigma m about i is equal to zero. That is the thing what you are taking moment about this point. Minus f b e. Minus r f. The vertical distance is from here to here three meters. So RF value is twenty one. Substitute the values and tell me the value of F E. What is the value? is All the given plus using measure of sections. Problem. A cantilever truss is available, which is supported. So this problem is distance is three meters. Remind the forces. So C D is nothing but this force. G is this one. So 
So here you need not at the end if it seems to be all this problem. When you are cutting a section here, this is a cantilever on the right side. That is section. I need to calculate the reaction point. So what I will do here at this section. I'll draw the free body diagram. So in the first step. section at the section meeting Side. This is the E. This is the G. Now understand what is the angle of this one? Can any one of you tell me what is this angle? This height is three meters, entire length is twelve meters. So you can take it as tan inverse of the So now see here, the angle here, this is 14.03. Now we should also know what is the angle made by this FDG with respect to horizontal or with respect to vertical. So to get that one, first of all, what we will do is, see this, what is the height of this one? This is four, this is three. If you observe, this will become two, this will become one as it is linear, linearly, by because the angle is tan inverse of 3 by 12. 3 by 12 is nothing but 1 by 4. So tan inverse of 1 by 4. So this is also 1 by 4. This angle is 1. This is 4. So what is this angle? It is this angle. Tan inverse of 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 is nothing but 14.03. So if with respect to horizontal, this is also making 14.03. This is 14.03. So this angle is also. And here, this is 14.03. Now, how I am calculating the angles? Just observe for the entire class. For the entire truss, here the members are there like this. This is 3, this is 2, this is 1. This is equally, equal length members are available. Now, 
with respect to horizontal of this member the angle here it is the angle here it is 14.03 another member is there like this and this member is 1 by 4 here this is the angle is tan inverse of 1 by 4 this is also same so which is also tan inverse of 1 by 4 that is 14.03 now a force of 15 kN is acting here first this is your point d this is point f this is point e we require force in cd force in dg comma force in fg right now f cd just what i will do is uh, here two members are meeting i will take moment about this point I'll take moment about this point sigma m about d is equal to 0 There are three equations: sigma f x is equal to zero, sigma f y is equal to zero, sigma m about a point is equal to zero. Here directly, I am using this sigma m about a point is equal to zero. When you take moment about these two about this point, the forces into distances. That is, the moment made by these forces is zero. And here, what is the distance? This is one meter. This force in f g is making clockwise moment. clockwise you are taking moment about this point so force into perpendicular distance plus f f g into 1 into 1 plus once again this 15 is there 15 into 4 which is also clockwise is 0 so force in f g is minus 60 kN which is under is under compression so sigma f y is equal to 0 what is the vertical forces this fcd is to be resolved along horizontally as well as along vertical it is to be resolved along horizontally so this is one force which is f cd cos 14.03 vertically f cd sin 14.03 let us here coming to here f dg this is coming downward f dg sin 14.03 this one will be f d g cos 14.03 right on sigma f y that is vertical forces which is going positive positive f c d sin 14.03 minus f d g sin 14.03 minus 15 is equal to 0 take sin common of these two sin of 14.03 into fcd minus fdg is equal to minus 15 on the right side it will be plus 15 so here fcd minus fdg is 15 by sin 14.03 So F C D minus F D G is sixty one point eight seven. Keep it the equation like that. Now go to sigma F X is equal to zero minus F C D cos fourteen point zero three minus F D G cos fourteen point zero three minus F F G. so your forces what are the horizontal forces we should not miss any single force while calculating the that is the magnitude and nature of the force in the member 
is equal to 0. So this is minus FCD. My, that is, you can take uh, one thing. Minus of cos 14.03, you can take it as common. FCD plus FDG is equal to FFG. So FCD plus FDG is minus FFG by cos 14.03. What is the value? FFG is nothing but minus of minus 60 you can do by cos 14.03. What is the value? Sixty by cos fourteen point zero three. It's okay. Minus of minus sixty by cos fourteen point zero three. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. This is your second equation. There are two equations available with you. One is FCD minus FDG is equal to sixty one point eight seven. FCD plus FDG is equal to sixty one point eight four. You do one thing. Add both equation number one plus equation number. So what happens here it is FCD minus FDG is equal to 61.87 FCD minus FDG is equal to 61.84 when you add both this will be 2 FCD is equal to 61.84 so you can tell me the value of FCD Plus only. Just that is typo error. FCD minus FDG is equal to 61.87. FCD plus FDG. That's why we cancelled. Minus and plus is cancelled. We are adding both. So 2 FCD is equal to 123.71. So FCD is 61.86 kilonewtons. Is it fine? Substitute this value in any one of the equation. We will substitute in equation number one. So FCD is from equation number one. 61.86 minus FDG is equal to 61.87. So FDG is 0 0.01, which is nothing but zero. Okay.